Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Rogers. I'm an assistant professor in the sciences department and I teach biology. My interests are self-induced stressors, so how essentially we're aging ourselves and harming ourselves by the way we live. I work with fruit flies. Yes, the little bugs that grow in your bananas and apples. Um, the reason why we can use fruit flies to do research that's related to humans is because we share about 75% approximately the same genes as the flies do. So genes code for proteins. So essentially, we make very, very, very similar proteins to the fruit flies. So by looking at the proteins in the flies, we can get an understanding of how these proteins work in our bodies. I studied the intestines because I'm very interested in metabolism and how certain cell populations act to regulate metabolism over aging. Um, that's linked to obesity, diabetes, all of those things that are very prevalent in our human species can also happen in flies. Yes, you can have very fat flies. There are, are a lot of connected pathways that we know very little about. And you see all of these ads for diet soda, for diet food, and all these like nutrition fads, gluten's bad, gluten's good, eat eggs, don't eat eggs. Why? At the end of the day, it's all just macromolecules. It's all just proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids. So, how does the input of these basic macromolecules affect what's happening in our cells? We are all just a big bunch of cells that do jobs. And if our cells can't do those jobs, then we can't be healthy humans. I'm not so much concerned with the outcome of the research as much as I'm concerned with the students learning how to think that way. So for them, being able to go in with one thing, come out with something else, and learn a whole bunch of troubleshooting and techniques along the way, that's what I like to see. I don't get mad at them.